Number 60. You receive an RX for Seftonir 150 mg per 5 ml suspension, 4 ounces. The product is available in 125 mg per 5 ml and 250 mg per 5 ml. How much of each strength is needed? A. 96 milliliters of 250 per 5, 24 milliliters of 125 per 5. B. 24 milliliters of 250 per 5, and 96 milliliters of 125 per 5. C. 55 milliliters of 250 per 5, 65 milliliters of 125 per 5. Or D. 65 milliliters of 250 per 5, 55 milliliters of 125 per 5. And the answer is B, 24 milliliters of 250 per 5 and 96 milliliters of 125 per 5. So we need to recognize that this is an allegation problem. So we have two concentrations giving and we're looking for a different one that falls in between those concentration amounts. So to solve, we can use the ratio method or the tic-tac-toe method. So we'll look at both. First, we'll look at the ratio method. Um, so with the ratio method, we're going to identify the high concentration, the low concentration, and the desired concentration. The high concentration is 250, the low concentration is 125, and the desired concentration is 150. So now we're going to subtract to get the ratio of HC to LC. So if we take DC minus LC, that gives us the HC ratio value. So 150 minus 125 equals 25. Then if we take HC minus DC, that gives us the low concentration ratio value. So 250 minus 150 is 100. If we add those ratios together, oh, the ratio it would be of HC to LC, it's 25 to 100. So we add those together, um, 25 plus 100 gives 125. That is the total parts. So now to determine the amount of the high concentration, we take our high concentration ratio value, 25, divided by the total parts, 125, times the amount needed, which is 4 ounces, so times 4, and that gives us 0 0.8. So we'll need 0 0.8 ounces of the 250 per 5. Um, the low concentration, we do the same thing, um, except with its ratio. So 100 divided by 125 times the amount needed, 4, that gives us 3.2 ounces of 125 per 5. So the answer choices are in milliliters, so we'll need to convert our ounces to milliliters. So we have 30 milliliters per one ounce times 0 0.8 ounces. Um, we're left with milliliters on the top, ounces on the top, ounces on the bottom, those cancel. That gives us 24 milliliters of 250 per five. And then um, to convert the other one, 30 milliliters per one ounce times 3.2 ounces. 30 times 3.2 is 96 milliliters of the 125 per five. Now we'll look at the tic-tac-toe method. Um, before we do the tic-tac-toe method, we're gonna go ahead and convert our four ounces um, into milliliters since our answers are in milliliters. And you could have done this originally for the ratio method as well, but that, that's probably an easier way to go about doing this. So there are 30 milliliters in one ounce. So 30 times four is 120 milliliters. So 120 milliliters is our quantity we're going to need. So with the tic-tac-toe method, we're gonna take our um, tic-tac-toe grid and in the top left will be the high concentration. The middle will be the desired concentration and the bottom left will be the low, low concentration. Now we're diagonally, we're gonna take the difference between those. So the difference between the low concentration and the desired concentration, we put that in the top right. Um, the difference in the high concentration and the desired concentration, we put that in the bottom right. Then we add that column to get our total parts. And then from there, we'll make our fractions. So the, the HC part over the total parts times the quantity needed will be the amount of the high concentration needed. And then our low, quant low concentration fraction, um, we'll take our low concentration parts over the total parts and multiply that by the quantity needed to give us the amount of low concentration needed. Okay, now we'll put our numbers in. So on the top left, we'll put our high concentration, 250. In the very center is our desired concentration, 150. And our low concentration is in the bottom left, 125. Now we'll take the difference diagonally 
So the difference between 125 and 150 is 25. We'll put that in the top right. The difference between 250 and 150 is 100. We'll put that in the bottom right. Now we'll add that column, 25 plus 100, and that gives us our 125 total parts. So now we'll just do our high concentration fraction. Um, it's 25 parts out of the total 125 times 120 milliliters. That's the amount we need. That equals 24 milliliters of the high concentration of the 250 per 5. And now we'll do the same thing with our low concentration. We have 100 per 125 times 120 milliliters. That equals 96. So it'll be 96 milliliters of the low concentration, the 125 per 5. Thanks for watching. For more practice test questions, click below to see my full length PTCB Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam practice test that includes 90 questions with explained answers. And if you find this video useful, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you'd like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it.